Hi, welcome back to Rocky Mountain Prepper. Today, we are going to be making something else for Apocalypse Kitchen. Hardtack. Yes, I've been requested this, so here you go. What we're going to need for this is about two cups of flour, one cup of water, and a pinch of salt. That's it. The rest is uh, mixing, cutting, and ultimately oven drying it. So, let's get started. Alright, for this I'm going to use roughly half wheat flour and just about half white. It's not too important it's not all that important on what type of flour there's the salt. I'm not using all of the flour in the that I had grabbed out because you want it a little on the stiff side. So it all depends on the humidity and the air. And all of that. If it's a really dry day, it may need more flour. If it's a really wet, moist day, or if it's a really dry day, it may need more, uh, less flour. You don't want it too wet, because if you do, it's going to take longer to dry. This is an excellent way to store your flour that's already been acquired. Um, in Massachusetts, they have some hardtack that was made towards the end of the Civil War. I believe it was actually 1865 that it was made. And it's still perfectly safe to eat. Is that something you want to eat every day? No. No one has ever, ever wanted to eat hardtack. During the 1800s and the 1700s, the British Army would give hardtack to their men as part of what was called the iron ration. The other part we've already made, which is hardtack, or which is pemmican. Now, you want to get this relatively thin, maybe about a quarter inch, no thicker than a quarter inch. Yeah, that's about right. And then we are going to square it off. I like to use a pizza cutter. You can use just a regular sharp knife. Or anything like that. Hardtack was m more often used by the navies of the world. And those were always called ship's biscuits. And 
and you can honestly make these round like biscuits if you want. How big you make them is up to you, but the important thing is that you dock both sides in order to let out all the steam. The steam will, the steam trapped in there will condense and over time force it to go bad. Now I've seen people use chopsticks and put holes all the way straight through. It's more up to you. As long as it's docked, what you use to dock it is more for aesthetics. If you are a reenactor, this would be excellent for you. Like uh, Civil War, uh, even uh, like reenacting for the fur trade. Any old time reenactments that are for up to the First World War, the individuals would have had access to hardtack. It was one of the things bought and sold at the rendezvous. Alright, then just onto a sheet pan and bake at the lowest setting possible. I'll bring you back when it's going in. Alright, I happen to get 10 out of that batch, which is awesome. I have the oven at 200 degrees. If your oven doesn't go that low, that's fine. Now, you're going to bake it for an hour and flip them. Then bake for another hour. And then, after that second hour, you got to let them cool down on top of the oven for a little bit. And once you can handle them, you tap them together. If it sounds like you're tapping a pair of bricks together, it's ready. If not, back in it goes for another two hours. You want to have them that dry. So, I'll bring you back later. Alright, as you can see, it is now out of the oven cooling. They do have, sound like a pair of bricks being knocked together. I'm not going to do it again because my fingers got a little toasty with it. But once you get done cooling them, put them into a zip top bag, order a flour sack, it, it honestly doesn't really matter. And this is another thing that will last for generations if you don't eat, eat it. Now, to eat it, you must soak it. If you try to eat it like this, you will break a tooth. What I like to do is I like to break it up and use it as a thickener in soup or uh, if you break it up really fine or you can uh, break it up into small chunks and put it into cold water with your pemmican and one bring it up to boil then th this will become little dumplings. and you have a beef and dumpling soup. Um, I might show that later on. I'll show you other things to use what you've stored. But this is another thing that, has la that ha will last an incredibly long time. So, thanks for watching. 
Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, good luck and God bless all of you.